hello friends okay today we are going to be looking at setting up our database using shared preference so that database we're going to be setting up is just going to be used to store the user's data so if you look at the uh, prospect the demo file we already have shared preference here so so far we have been able to use http for making the http request to log in and register a new user and you've seen how we use provider to actually separate our concerns and actually manage our states so so far we have not used set state in this application but we are we, we are getting the response and changing this value <laughs> why the data the status changes so for now we are going to be seeing how to use a shared preference to create a db a basic database where we can store the user's data and then from here whenever the user logs in because if you log in you can see we are actually getting the user id and also the auth token so we are going to save the user's token from here yeah from this response once the response is 200 then we're going to save save the user's token here uh, save user's data and then navigate to the home page okay navigate to home page yeah that's what we are going to be doing basically from this end all right but before we do that we need to create some things first so stay inside my provider okay so this is my provider i'm going to create a new folder and i'll be calling that database okay so you can see how we are separating each of our files and why the file is getting larger we keep creating more 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 folders and stuff like that so in here i'll be creating a db db provider db provider dot dat this is a, a normal mm, dat file so this is where we are going to be creating our shared preference stuff you know to store the user's data and stuff like that okay so we are still going to be using the same method we use for the auth provider that is where we use the authentication provider extends change notifier and then we are going to register it inside our main dot that to the multi provider okay so here i'll have a class and i will call this one database provider okay and i will extend uh the change notifier provider all right so one thing i need to do here because we are we'll be working with shared preference we need to create the initialize create the instance of the shared preference so i'll be using finer uh, make sure you already have shared preference in your app because this shared preference is the future stuff so we're going to use our uh, future here and then the type which is shared preference and then we, i will call this one pref okay and we can use initialize it so okay uh share preference dot get instance like so all right so if you over here over here now you see the future of shared preference okay but if you don't know the type initially then no problem just remove the future shared preference and when you use finer and when you hover and fade this you're going to see the type so whichever way you do it is still going to work all right so we are still going to do the same thing again a getter and a setter okay just the way we did for the initial for that the the auth provider so we are going to use create a setter to actually set the value so remember from here we only want to get the user id and also the auth token in your case you might want to get the user first name the last name depending on any data you want to get you want to store okay uh, maybe you're working in any large application you want to store some data the user's profile id profile name profile url and stuff like that okay you might want to store them instead of making requests every time to the endpoint to retrieve those data okay so you can just create a database to store them and when the user log opens your app with with that internet you can just retrieve all this data from the database all right okay and then secondly we are going to create the getters okay for the user id and also for the token as well okay so these two now are the getters that we're going to use to get the data all right so while that is on we can also create two methods i'll be creating two methods and one is for saving the token and the other one is for saving the user's id so this one will be called whenever inside the auth provider to start save the token and it sees you, you you can notice it has a key and i have a course of video a tutorial concerning shared preference so i'm going to put a link also in the description below and now we have the id to store the user id make sure it's actually the same when you are retrieving it then okay secondly what we are going to do now is to get we're going to create a method to actually get the token from so this method will get the token you can see the token key and this other key is the same 
So what we we'll do first, we we'll create shell preference and then await the pref, which is this one we have already created here. And then we we'll check uh, if value that contains token. So if it contains this token, then what we just have to do is to return get string token. Then we set this token to this uh, this setter here, which is this token, and automatically this one will get it whenever we retrieve it. See, I also call notify listener to actually update or notify any any widget that is or any class that actually listening to this particular class, right? And uh, yeah, yeah. Then if it's empty, we turn an empty string. So I will do the same thing again for users ID. Okay, and uh, yeah. For getting the user's ID. All right, so this is all for the database because you're only getting token and user name ID. If you want to get first name, you can also do the same thing: create a setter and a getter, create a method to save the first name, also create a method to get the first name. All right. So I'm using future here because sometimes you might want to get the token directly instead of using consumer widget. Okay, and yeah, so you're going to return it from here like a future. So depending on how we want to call it. Okay. Then now what I will do now inside this database provider, I will go to my alt main dot that to register that provider. Okay. So here now we change this stuff to database provider like so. So I've registered it successfully. If we do a hot restart to show our splash screen and then go back. Okay. So now I've registered it successfully. Now we can see now we have our uh, database and stuff like that. Okay. So now, real quick, uh, let me just store this database provide. Okay, in the next section, we are going to store this uh, database. We are going to store the user's credentials, the auth token and the user ID to the users, uh, to the database that we just created. And then from there, we are now going to navigate to the stacks page whenever the user logs in successfully, okay? Then from there, we can now integrate other methods that are left, all right? I'll see you in the next video.